Well, on behalf of, uh, thank you, Kit, on behalf of uh, Harlem Urban Companies, New Frontiers, and Central Properties, again, I'll extend my welcome to you. Uh, I, too, have two very important development partners, and I uh, got the short straw, so that's why I'm up here in front of you talking today. <laughs> because uh, unlike Donald Trump, most developers are pretty, uh, don't like to get up here and talk about things, but uh, I am happy to, to share the Emerald with you because it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, for those of you who don't, don't know, I'm native Chicago. I'm born and raised here. Uh, in the city proper, I always get people who they, uh, punch around that question a little bit. They say they're from Mount Prospect or Buffalo Grove. I was born and raised here on the northwest side of the city. And uh, I always tell people I, I develop things that I would live in. I'm one of the few developers who actually has lived in his own developments and lived to tell the story thereafter. Uh, we're very proud of this. We think this lobby is nicer than Trump Tower. I just had lunch at Trump Tower the other day, and all, all, it's, it's beautiful, it's soaring ceilings. Uh, but you don't have as much breadth and as big as this lobby is. Most developers would take this and try to cram some retail space into here. Uh, what we did is really made this a comfortable living environment that people would use. When you come home at night on the elevator, uh, you know, you'll walk by the bar, you'll see people mingling, you'll walk by the exercise room, you'll walk by the green room. Uh, it's a very inviting space and it's also equal friendly. So with that, I'll we'll turn it over to George. Papa George, who is the architect of the project. Good morning, everyone. I'm here today uh, representing Papa George Hank. I also want to point out Steve Resbeck, one of my close colleagues who are closely responsible for many details of the project. There's lots of things to talk about with the Emerald, but what's really unique uh, in fact, it's a twin tower scheme. And in our 27 years of building high rises in Chicago, we've only done three projects with twin tower schemes. Uh, one was 600 Lakeshore Drive, uh, the, uh, the Walton, which is a Walton estate, it's under construction now, and of course this project right here. And what's really unique about having twin towers is the opportunity to express the connection between the two buildings. And in this case, uh, as Bill pointed out a minute ago, We've been able to really combine the entire width of this block into one fabulous lobby, which does something more than uh, just create a big lobby. We're trying to create a green statement here at, at the Emerald, and we have done it very well. This building could have been LEED certified, but instead we focused our energies on creating a consciousness that goes beyond just a simple certification. The consciousness is about uh, the green movement that we're in right now in this whole nation, trying to really move towards a more logical way of building. But uh, certification is one issue, but how do you get people to think about green and really make it part of their daily lives? And I think this lobby does that because it's not just green in color, but all the materials that went into it are green in orientation, sustainable. And the fact of the matter is that as the years go by, the people who occupy the space and have leisure, time, and get to know each other will be focused on conversations about the green ideas, and this will be a kind of a spurring atmosphere for green thought, and I think that's a very strong thing all in itself, and uh, that's what Emerald will contribute to Chicago's greening. Of course, the mayor is very excited about the whole green uh, movement, he's been very strong behind that, and, and we helped uh, contribute to that philosophy he's been pushing forward, and that's really that. Okay. I'm John Wilkin from John Robert Wilkin Design. And um, we just want to get also to thank everybody for coming today and experiencing that Emerald Lobby. Um, we were really honored to be chosen to work with the partnership. They all have had amazing projects under their belts. And um, for them to have given us this opportunity, we just felt like we really had great expectations that we needed to not only live up to, but hopefully exceed. And um, I can remember when they first found this land, um, and, and which was almost 10 years ago, and then began talking about developing this property and thinking about floor plans and how big are the units going to be. And you know, it was more than three years ago, really, that we created the design concept for this lobby. And at that time, then we did a virtual tour so that prospective buyers could visualize what our concepts were. And um, 
you know, here we are today, hoping that what we created three years ago is still new and fresh and innovative and exciting, and that it, and that it's not something that's been done and seen time and time again. Our, we always believe that when we're involved with a project, that no matter what our clients are spending, that it's always too much, and that it better be amazing when we're done with it. And, um, you know, only the developers can. <laughs> and I shouldn't put that out there, but that's the thought. Um, I would like Jasmine Nelson from my firm to come, because Jasmine really had so much to do with this. And once we decided to run with the concept of the lobby being green, Jasmine really found and sought out a lot of the materials that you hear. So I'm going to let her speak a little bit about her role in this, too. Um, well, I've worked on, this is one of my first projects because I've only worked for John about four years and this project took three years, so it was a, <laughs> a big project to work on and um, it was really just exciting and an honor to work on something that um, was um, green or environmentally friendly and um, modern and sleek and it was just sort of a dream project to work on. And one of the challenges was trying to find environmentally friendly products that um, that looked modern. I mean, three years ago, they really weren't out there. So it was a challenge looking for them. And um, I think now it's really caught on. And um, and uh, I think this project really, really shows, shows those from the floor to the countertops to the furniture to the fabrics, really shows those lines. Um, it was exciting and challenging, and um, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> and I'm glad it looks great. So. <laughs> Lastly, I would just like to speak a little bit about uh, Emerald's impact on, on the, uh, the marketplace. Emerald, contrary to all the headlines that everyone likes to grab, the market's doom and gloom. Emerald's selling very, very well. We're over 80% sold. We only have 40 units left. We sort of contracted yesterday. Uh, in these tough economic times, too, I think it's a true testament to my partners. There's a tremendous amount of pressure, meeting after meeting, week after week, to value engineer stuff out of the lot. You know, we spent over, well over $4 million on this lobby, and there was a lot of pressure to, to really cut costs and cut corners. And as you can see, we, we really didn't. So I would like to, again, thank you all for coming. Thank Rick Filler, who's here from Harlem Urban Companies. Uh, he's been a great partner, a great friend. New Frontier, I, I don't see anybody here yet but they were the three development partners. Uh, the marketplace is not all doom and gloom. We are, we are doing very well here at Emerald. We would like you all to print that in tomorrow's headlines. <laughs> uh, that we are, are doing well, especially since I've spent a decade here uh, in, in this project. Everything in this project is recycled. They're, they're tearing down our old sales center today. That was my, I lived there for almost nine years, 10 years, well, 13 years now because that was my old sales center for a project that I did five blocks for the west called the Promenade. And I was a very young man then, and I've, I've aged, this project has aged me because we've been here for 10 years. Uh, but, but it is a great success, it's a great test, testimony to when developers don't try to cut corners and truly deliver on what they promised. I think in your press packages you all have a DVD. It, it, it's uncanny, if you look at the DVD that we produced three years ago and then you walk through the space, it's identical down to the green apples on the table. I mean, everything that we promised we were gonna deliver, we have delivered here, and then some. So please print that, uh, and uh, with that, I think we're gonna give you a tour of the lobby. And again, thank you all for coming out on this, uh, this gloomy day.